<clears throat> okay, so it's not really morning anymore. It's like 12.30 here. But we didn't really vlog in the car because I slept the whole ride here. So there was no vlog of me updating you in the car today. But right now we are at Carl's Bad Caverns. In so, in New Mexico. So basically you just like it's like this huge like room cave thing underground. And you can either walk down 75 flights of stairs or you can take an elevator. So mom and I are gonna walk down the steps, but then we're gonna take the elevator back up. And it should be fine. Like I feel like walking down the step walking down the steps will be so much easier than walking. Oh, there's no steps. But we're eating lunch, and I got some soft chicken tacos. There was beans and rice and guacamole, and sour cream. And this is the outfit of the day. I have this nice shirt on from H&M, and then I just have blue shorts on, and my white shoes. So white. Yeah, they're not so white. We'll have to get like bleach wipes and wipe them down. We'll probably have to go through one of those little spongy things. But that's it for now, we'll update you later. starting our walk down and we have a timer going because one person said that it would probably take 45 minutes to an hour to get down but someone else said that it would take like an hour an hour and a half so we're gonna see how long it takes mom and I to walk down to the bottom and let me tell you it does not smell good <laughs> It smells so bad, but we are beginning our descent, and we're doing good. We'll catch back up and see how our moods have changed, if we're tired of walking, if we regret our decision, we'll let you know. We had a lot of big goals for this trip. We had some mini goals for this trip. And the mini goal that we had here was we wanted to take the natural path and walk to the bottom of the caves. We took the elevators up, though. Okay guys, we've been walking for 
almost 35 minutes, but it's still going pretty good. Um, my knees and ankles are starting to hurt because it's a lot of, you can't even see the downhill slope. There's a lot of downhills. And when we stop, my legs start to tremble. <laughs> so, I'm going to say we're almost about halfway. We don't know. We have no clue. We don't have any idea. But I'm just going to guess. I said we should have been counting the switchbacks. Because I said there's like 80 something switchbacks. Which switchbacks are like where you go one direction and then you go back. Okay. Oh, we just started. We've been probably walking at what, 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah, so about 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Not very long. Okay. Okay. So we have about like 10 minutes left. Mm -hmm. And those poor people have like 34 minutes left. But maybe they walk faster than us. So. But we're hopefully almost there. Oh, I guess that's to report graffiti and stuff. Yeah. Well, you could probably... Oh, look, there is an emergency box. Yeah. But, okay. We'll... Since we only hopefully have like 10, 15 minutes left, we'll check back in with you once we get down to the bottom of the cave. I can see you. I'm showing out. Oh, you're showing out. We made it in a little over 43 minutes, which I think is pretty good. Don't let them kid you. It's not straight downhill. There's a little point when you they take you back uphill. But I'm very glad that we walked down it. It was a great experience. I definitely would do it again. But I'm also definitely glad that we took the elevator back up. Okay, guys. So we made it down we made it down to like the area and it only took mom and I 43 minutes we are proud of that and because the first lady told us that it would take 45 minutes to an hour and she said that it would probably take us an hour and then the second lady said it was going to take an hour to an hour and a half so we beat both of them I was thinking we were walking at like a decent pace because we kept passing people so and so with all that work I got hungry so I got a fruit a strawberry and yogurt parfait and a place that has good um parfaits my school like we have crappy food there but like our parfaits are pretty good. Mm. So, we have to wait until 2.45. And then, and, or no, 2.15. 2.15. Is when Grandma comes down. And then 2.45 we have to meet for... Yeah, she's coming down at the elevators. And then at 2.45, we have to meet for, like, this tour. How long is that tour? You know, we never even asked. Like, it could be some long five-hour <laughs> thing. We're taking this. Well, it happens 1.30 and then 3. So I'm guessing it's going to be, like, an hour and a half. I'm going to guess it's around an hour and a half because... There was one at one and then one at three. three. That would be two hours actually. Mm -hmm. But maybe they give like the tour guide breaks. I don't really know. But hopefully it's not too long. If it gets too hard, we can probably turn back. Right? Mm hmm. So. Oh, there's raisins in this. They're pretty good. So, I suggest, oh, that's a good picture. Isn't that pretty? Mm hmm I suggest that if you want to come here, that's pretty too. If you want to come here, then 
I would walk down because the walk down was not that bad. There were a couple up hills that were kind of killer. That we weren't expecting. Yeah. Well, they weren't bad, bad. And then take the elevator up. And you do not have to try to make a speed trial like we did. You could go slower. Yeah. But but we walked pretty fast. My and knees, climbed up. My knees wanted to go fast. <laughs> Look at grandma in your hammock. Mm -hmm. The cross. Your fingers. Like, the lady just said that the elevator usually doesn't break down. But, cross your fingers. It doesn't break down while we're yeah. down here. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm sleeping here. They're, they're it would gonna, honestly take us probably five hours they're gonna, to get up. <laughs> They're gonna go get me a sleeping bag and throw it down the elevator shaft. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much it. We stayed at White's Campground, which is at the very base of the national park. It's not the greatest campground, but the location can't be beat. We went back to camp, set up our tents, and then we came back for the evening bat flight that occurs during the summer. It was fantastic, and it was worth staying around for.